brings us to the topic of training. I've been training Ellie since she was probably nine weeks old. Uh, we started out with poochie bells uh, to show her to like to go outside and she picked up on those pretty quickly. Uh, we'll see those a little bit later in the video. And uh, anytime she wants to go outside right now, she rings the bells. Um, we got her into a training class uh, with an AKC certified trainer and um, they started telling us about like simple things like play with your dog's paws and you know touch your dog's ears and play with his mouth things like that and um, we graduated into learning things like sit and paw and up on the box which I'll show you later it's one of her tricks where whenever we want her to go up on something we can point and say up on the box uh, she also understands up and um, our trainer said, you know, if you want to be an Excel Bell trainer, you can practice uh, 10 minutes a day. But if you want to just do your best, like, you know, you just want to be consistent every day, you can do five minutes. And I'll tell you, five minutes really was all it took. Uh, we just needed a couple pieces of cheese or some training uh, trainers, trainer bites, like little treat nuggets. And she was... She was learning right away, right? What do you think? Ellie's here with me. Where are we going? You wanna walk down the trail? Okay, so this video uh, I'm going to do is gonna be the different tricks that she knows and um, different commands that we have taught her. Hello, Ellie. How are you? How are you today? What do you think? We can do training? We can go for a walk and we can do training after. You gotta show everybody your tricks. You wanna show your tricks? Ellie, what do you think? You like doing tricks? You like doing tricks? You like going for walks better or you like playing with your ball? Where's your ball? You? You wanna go walk and to see if your friends are out. You would go down the trail. When we were in training class, we would go once a week, and it was like two to three hours long. And we practiced things, you know, in the class. Switching directions, that's a really good one. When you're walking and, you know, the dog's attention is on a cat or a dog, all you have to do is kind of change, change your direction do a 180 and divert her attention and uh, walk the other way. And that has really helped. Right, El? Pretty good, right? We go like this, come on, this way. Let's go this way. And then her attention's away. What do you think, you wanna keep going? Okay, let's keep going. Also, you can work on weights. You can say, wait, wait, Ellie, wait, wait, good, good, wait. Okay, keep going, good. And you just practice that. What do you think? You gonna keep going? You like walking, right? You wanna keep going? Okay, we can go, we can go. You're walking very good. All right, so the first trick that we learned when we were in training was to get up on a box. And now everything she gets up on is a box. Up on the box. Sit. Good job. Good job. Okay, down. Good girl. All right, so before I mentioned that we had uh, poochie bells, uh, I think they're called poochie bells, and uh, we put them out for Ellie probably like the first week we got her home, and we um, basically we, we told her to ring the bells whenever she had to go 
outside, she would ring them. And now, she rings them all the time. Anytime she wants to go outside, she'll ring them. There she goes. What? You want to go outside? Ring your bells. Go ahead. What? Go ahead and ring them. She'll, she'll ring them and then she'll just look at me. She does it again. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to go outside? Go get your bells. We'll wait, right? Go get your bells. Was that a silent ring? Can I see a real ring? What do you do? You gotta hit him. You gotta hit the bells. Can I see a real ring? Excuse you. Is that how you talk to your dad? There you go. Now you let me know. Good job. Good job. Sit. Got a paw? Paw? Come, give me a real paw. Good job. Okay. Okay. Spin. 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 Good. Good job, sit. There's nothing left here. I'll take your ball though. Good. Can you spin? Spin. Good, spin again. Good job, sit. Good. There you go. Okay, so I have the, the treat in my hand and she's looking at it. I'm gonna put it to my nose, and I'm gonna put it out here, and she's gonna look at it. And then she'll look back at me. Oh, that didn't work, sit. Try again. Okay, I'm gonna put it to my nose, so you're gonna look at it, and then you're gonna look back at my eyes. She's gotta look right at my eyes before she can get the treat. Ready? Good. Good job. Wanna do it again? Sit. Let's do it again. You're backing me into the corner here. Okay, ready? Ready? Good. Good job. Okay, we'll try it one more time going the other way. Okay, we got the tree here. Ellie. Ready? Good. And that basically um, teaches her to check in with you. Right? What do you think? You got one more piece left. You want to do one more? Let's do one more. Why don't you put it out here? Far. Good. Good job. And those are the tricks that Ellie knows. And uh, she loves doing them. Uh, we're still obviously working on the Play Dead. She has done it in the past. I think it kind of has something to do with the uh, treats that we give her. But um, they're harder tricks. And then like Roll Over is also um, more difficult for her. Um, she just doesn't want to do it. So, um, But sometimes it's a mood thing. So... That is going to do it uh, for all the tricks that she does, and I hope you enjoyed it. So that's going to do it for all of the tricks that this dude does. Right, Ellie? You do lots of tricks, and uh, you're constantly learning, and you love doing them. So uh, I definitely commend you for your great work. You want to go outside now? Ready to go out and play? Okay, let's go. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.